All right, last year, 2015, right before we went on vacation, I purchased this luggage carrier for the top of our van. Well, it wasn't until after I made the purchase that I realized that our Honda Odyssey van does not have crossbars for the roof rack. So I was looking online, I was trying to find some. The cheapest thing I could find was about $40, and they seemed pretty cheap. So uh, I got to look in. I actually saw Sam and Nia, some vloggers, I think they're out in Texas, and he had made some out of wood. So I considered doing that. I looked at the options, and uh, my father-in-law actually gave me a piece of aluminum from an old tractor-trailer truck, uh, actually the trailer part. Uh, pretty, pretty thick piece of aluminum. Now here's the aluminum, and it's just uh, it's, it's an aluminum beam. And all I did was took the measurements and just ripped it out with a uh, side grinder and a cutting uh, cutting blade on the side grinder cutting wheel so that's the aluminum i took it out of and here is what i ended up with all right on this particular model 2003 honda odyssey the front of the side rails is wider than it is uh at the back so it's, it's further apart between them so I had to make some adjustments on the front of the of the rails, the uh, cross rails or cross bars. Should be able to see how I have the back, and it just has a piece that goes under and grabs the side there, and I have uh, a bolt and a wing nut. And the same for the front. I simply have uh, another piece of aluminum that I cut off, four flat pieces like this, and I just simply put that in the vise and used a, a hammer and bent that over so that it can grab around the rail there and hold on. And once I tighten this wing nut down, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't move. It, it holds on, holds tight. We traveled with it last year and it worked perfect. Now, I realize everybody don't have access to scrap aluminum. It simply goes like that. Do that again. It grabs there, it just kind of wraps around there. Put the bolt through that hole there. And I have a washer and a lock washer and a wing nut. And I'm doing this with the wrong hand here. tightens down really good and you don't have to put a wrench or anything on it it grabs and holds and that one will not come off I do the same to the other side it's like this one the back one I have uh, fastened on both sides there and it will not come off now the luggage carrier has fasteners on the bottom and basically I just slide these bars through it tighten those down and then I set the whole thing up here and then I fasten I, I connect the the crossbars to the side rail and again I didn't realize this van didn't even have crossbars until I made the purchase so just a quick simple idea uh, basically all I did was cut this out it had some pain and and some gouges in it uh, I just run a grinder over it kind of smooth it down those holes were already in it so I just I left those, I drilled a couple extra, uh, measured the right distance apart, kind of centered it up, and uh, it works great. There you go, me being frugal, making some crossbars out of scrap. Uh, I had more time than money at the time, didn't want to spend the money. So uh, anyway, it was just a little project, it worked out really good. It holds this carrier full of luggage without any issues. Uh, it doesn't really sag at all, it, it, it is strong. It's stronger, I believe, than the crossbars I was looking at purchasing. I hope this helps. Be frugal, find you some scraps and make something. Thanks for watching.